What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 13 video. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button, as well as subscribe to my channel. Of course, welcome your criticism of this video in the comments section. As always, I will play it for you at speed and then ask you to follow me on Twitter. My username is ShutdownSafety. I want to talk about two of the fundamental problems I have when it comes to the Madden passing game. And one of these is going to basically evolve around a video I did for my 25th hundred subscriber in terms of of the one and done line interactions I would just want you to notice how exactly this pocket breaks down because to me it's extremely unrealistic it's extremely unpredictable and most importantly to me it always signifies that you can never go through your progression properly because you never know when the pressure is going to be generated and when it is it happens next to immediately we take a look at number 74 here it comes off interacts with my lineman and then there we go immediately Seconds into the play, a win or loss has been determined, and my lineman now means nothing. So he's going to come back, start to generate pressure on my quarterback, and then you can see at the very last second, my other tackle comes over and, and kind of saves the day by running across the face of my quarterback. But as always, like I said, being so unpredictable, you have no idea that this is going to happen, and therefore the pass has already been forced. Now when we go over, we take a look at what happens to that lineman. I think this is where we start talking about the unrealistic fundamentals of this game because here's a player that we just saw was so extremely aware that he was able to run back across the face of the field, back across the face of my quarterback, prevent a sack, yet when he comes out of his stance, he's going to trip over my halfback. And then this defensive end apparently has zero credibility in terms of football fundamentals because he's going to turn away from the play and run off into nowhere before strafing back to the line and basically watching the defensive tackle get stopped by the person that was supposed to be blocking him. Now, the other problem I want to talk about relates to aggression in wide receivers because you're going to see Kevin Walter is going to come down here and run a kind of a double move on Marshall. Now, the problem here is very simple. When this ball is thrown, you can see these players are in pretty close proximity to each other, and they're in line with each other. You see Walter, you could basically draw a straight line and connect him to Marshall. But in Madden, there is zero aggressiveness out of a wide receiver. He is basically going to run behind Marshall, allow him to take this interception, and then run up the field with it. And that is not what should happen at all. The wide receiver should be much more aggressive than the defensive back, especially than you take into consideration this is a, a cover two so this is a zone that 31 is playing there's no excuse that Walter would not try to run in front of Marshall to get this pass from him but instead you can see the game really lacks animations on this I'm actually going to keep the box up so you can see that I'm not controlling him to make this happen you can see that the, ba the game basically lacks these animations Marshall stops Walter stops and then a prolonged animation for an awkward catch behind Marshall occurs that involves him swinging his hips out. So there is zero seamlessness to this. It's all very jerky animations. And then more importantly, you see Walter is able to spin unrealistically off this hit of number 30, maintain his balance and composure, and then come back around as if he was going to aid in this tackle. So things I would really like to see is the removal of the magic offensive lineman that can run around and block. Again, like we talked about, the lack of dynamic interactions on the line. But most importantly, wide receivers that are continually going to be aggressive to go up and fight for the ball rather than stand there or watch an animation play out that's so long it allows a defensive back to stand in front of the wide receiver to intercept the pass. would love to again see your comments on this video. And as always, I will be back in the week with more content.